and uh, get these girls ready for the big one in two years. Yeah, it's um, a Bruno and, uh, and a blessing. Absolutely, like um, Austin said, um, we, we we shouldn't come back and say we have done so well mm. and go back to sleep like we normally do. Mm. I mean, two years is just around the corner, really the January, and we have the African Championship. Blessing is already going. So these are tournaments that we should allow these girls to mm. attend, mm. assess them, and continue to encourage them. We learn that they have been giving them uh, grants. You know, that, that is also part of it. Mm. So that she wouldn't uh, rest on us. We need to, you know, come back, draw up a program, a blueprint to uh, help these uh, athletes continue for when they have stopped. If after six months or eight months and nothing is being done, they are going to lose form. So now is the time to start prepar preparing for mm. the next Olympic Games. Blessing has shown that she can compete at the highest level. We need to encourage her. Mm, mm. You know, the NSC, whether it's Delta, whether it's NSC, <laughs> whoever, you know, can mm, help mm, her. She'll mm. come up and, you know, assist this young girl, get to the, you know, pinnacle of her career. That is winning, you know, a medal at the Olympic Games. Mm, Perhaps mm. a gold medal. She has an Olympic medal already. Yes, I mean, the, the, the I mean gold. Gold, mm, she can do it. Mm. She has competed against Jamaicans. You know, uh, the best in the world. So they, 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 that's the WF. I don't. They, they, so she didn't develop mm, the phobia. Mm. You know, so we need to encourage her. Journalists, everybody, you know, encourage her one way or the other, so that she can get this medal. I mean, mm. the Olympic gold medal. The for Brume, she has also proved that she can do well. We learned that um, mm. Blessing was supposed to go for the long job, yeah. you know, mm. but she withdrew mm. to allow Brume. And what a relief! Have, I, I mean, yeah. and mm. she, she has approved mm. the, the the opportunity that she. But has. for me, the, the difference between what we're doing. What we did in Glasgow and what we did um, at the last Commonwealth Games is, is very little. At the last Commonwealth Games, we were as dominant as this in wrestling. Almost all the uh, wrestlers came with medals. Mm -hmm. We were also dominant in some of the sprint events. Yeah. Namala won a medal for women, although got disqualified mm -hmm. uh, because of drug use and all of that. But two years after, we went to the Olympic Games and came back with absolutely nothing. Okay. So the Commonwealth Games is a different ball game from the Olympic Games in two years' time. So, Austin, what, what practical steps would you want us to take? Because a lot of these athletes, yes, have done well at the Commonwealth Games, but the standard is very different mm. from the Olympic Games. Mm. As far as the preparation that Danny Gali spoke about, remember to on the show, I said that need, there's need to keep the winning mentality. And um, people trying to take all the glory now, oh, I'm responsible for a blessing, I'm responsible for a sebrume. All of that should be kept aside. I just see ways to keep making these athletes get better. Mm. Just imagine if there was pressure on blessing to go and, oh, let me do the long jump. But now she knows that there's a talent. And uh, sebrume has come out and said, she's my role model. And that's what we want. Um, Usain Bolt didn't take part in the 100 meters men's event. Ashmit came up for Jamaica and they were winning. Mm. You know, Jamaica was there for first and third. Our men are not doing anything. But what I'm trying to say is that the NSC should sit back now. Everybody come to even with the athletes. Let us talk. Mm. How can we get better? Mm. How can we improve? You know, because how can we improve you to make you a lot better than you are to come away again because the Olympics is a bigger stage? Yeah, listen to these talents and then take down points. Let it be a clear vision. They are coming back in batches now. And I tell you, as they come, they'll start going away in batches. Mm, you know, there's presidential reception for those who want medals. Oh, yes, but we, we sh they shouldn't be coming in batches. They should come in as a team. We say it's Team Nigeria. Mm. Some people will stay back in the States. Some will go to somewhere else. I don't know. No, everybody should come back. What about those who didn't mean anything? They should still they come should, back they stay away because the they, are, they are coming to talk oh, to us. Because no, they should, they should, they should, they should, attend, they should attend the reception. They should attend the reception yeah, they, and, and see what it means to be honored by the reception. Because you have to spur them into doing something. Because you didn't win anything now, does not mean you cannot win later. Mm. You know, I mean, they, they, all of them, it's, it's a team like Austin said, Team Nigeria. Mm. All of them should go and see the president, even, even if the president will uh, give, you know, make uh, announcements for the people who won medals. But they too can also be part of it. Mm. Share the atmosphere. You know, I know that. Uh, you didn't win today, you can win tomorrow. And then mm. if falling is for you to rise again. So let me just say this so our viewers will understand what we're trying to get with mm. this. We went um, to take part in six sports. Mm. Six. We got a medal. We got medals in athletics. We got three bronze medals in boxing. We got a medal in table tennis. We got six gold medals in weightlifting and two gold medals in wrestling. Four out of the six. Five. Five out of the six got us medals. There you so go. Indeed, it wasn't a jamboree. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Because if shooting did not go through the problems that they went through, mm. they probably, out of would 16 medals, would have gotten one, which shows we've been, um, we've we gotten a right. And what gives us results? That's it. It wasn't a jamboree. That's we it. We went with, seven, with six or seven spots. Six. Six spots, five goddess medals. Right. Mm. 
and of course table tennis one of them yeah mm. all right so that, that's that's um, some comforting news for us uh and uh, we hope that we will build on this really build on this uh for the big one in two years time for the organizations that won medals yeah time for you to look back re strategize and plan for the big one for those who didn't win time for you to redouble your effort and try to be on the podium uh, at the Olympic Games. Austin Amos, um, uh, thank you so much uh, for your time on the show. Let me read this in interesting tweet um, from uh, Onogo Galacticos. I'm sure a lot of people will not want to agree with him. He says, Nigeria should also start closing down sports activities for now because of Ebola spread um, in, in Nigeria. Because getting involved in sports will increase it. No, we, these are isolated cases. No. And we pray it doesn't go beyond this. Mm. All right. So I don't think it has come yet to the stage yeah, where we're an epidemic stage. Either, it, it has not. not and, yeah, mm. and, and I think the federal government is doing enough to make sure it doesn't go beyond what it is right now. So I'm sure a lot of people will want to disagree with uh, what uh, Onogu Galacticos is saying about Ebola virus and Nigeria shutting down uh, sports activities. We'll go on a quick break now. During the break, we'll bring you highlights. The Golden Eagles of Nigeria, reigning world champions, are looking good uh, to make it to the African tournament that will be taking place next year. They met Congo Dia in Abokuta yesterday. It was 4-0 uh, for Nigeria. Sit back and enjoy these highlights. We'll come back for more. Nobody is under pressure. Yeah, you have to bear it in mind. Nigeria is a, when it comes to football, this, this is a nation that is very, very passionate when it comes to football. And it's led for us to understand the circumstances and also to prepare ourselves to face the challenges that the game is coming. I don't believe the idea, you know. Uh, most of the time you read media, you people, unfortunately, with all due respect, you create a lot of stories. In modern football, football is constantly changing and it's left for us to see how we can adapt to the changes that the game is coming up with so that our players, when they become maybe in the super egos, they can be able to compete with the rest of the players. That's actually what we are doing. For me, it's a, good, it's a really good team. It's playing good football. Uh, I think I, I like your, your, your captain. He's a really good player. And number four, too. Uh, I, I think uh, for me, uh, I, try, I hope we're going to uh, to do uh, the, to continue to go to the can, and I think it's a good representative for Africa to the World Cup. All right, it was a four nil for uh, the Golden Eagles against Congo DR. Nigeria qualifying five nil on aggregate. We are going to be meeting Gabon, as you saw uh, on your screen, in the last round of the qualifiers in September. So we wish Emmanuel Amunike, uh, the coaching crew, the backroom staff, the players, all the best of luck. They have a huge task ahead of them, which is to equal uh, the record of their predecessors. They went on to becoming world champions uh, late last year. All right, we've made a quick change now. Sisi um, has joined us on uh, Sports Tonight. Sisi, um, good to see you again. Thank you. This uh, beautiful Monday. Uh, okay, before we talk to Sisi, or should we just talk straight to Sisi? Let, no, let's talk about Eaglets. Your impression quickly about Eaglets. Yeah, very uh, good result. Um, you know, they, they went to the Kinshasa, got a one nil, and finished it up in Abeokuta on Sunday. And the, the, the good thing is that Emmanuel Munike 
because uh, I read the report of the game, it, it, it demanded that um, the team continues preparation. Mm. Just, just a week 